welcome guys this is 22nd question of net december 2018 okay it's a question from the part b of the question paper so let us read the question let x be a real number okay so x is a real number such that mod x is less than 1 okay so that absolute value of x is less than 1 then which of the following is false okay so uh, we have to find out the false option okay it's very important that you should notice that they are asking the false option so when whenever you do questions like this you just highlight this false one so when you answer you have to pick the false one okay not the correct one so first option says if x belongs to the set of rationals then its summation series like this okay it's a series it will also belongs to the set of rationals second one is saying something like that and third and fourth okay so you have to choose which one of them is false okay so just go one by one okay so in the first option you have seen that your uh, your x belongs to your uh, the, your set of rationals then you need to check whether this summation goes to rationals or not okay so in your first options you see you have to check whether this summation goes to the set of rationals or not so just expand it okay what do you see here you will see that your summation looks like this x square x to the power m so it's an infinite expansion okay so before doing this question you must know the sum of this expansion so some of the few expansion are very very important in order to solve questions like this so you must remember that it is basically 1 minus x to the power minus 1 okay so what is given to you it is given that your x belongs to q okay so if your x belongs to q it will imply your x looks like p over q where p is a uh, p belongs to z and q belongs to natural number okay uh, now you, you know just the basic definition of rationals you have to check if your x is rational then this summation is rational you know this the sum of this series is just 1 minus x to the power minus 1 that will imply your summation x to the power m is just 1 minus p over q to the power minus 1 that is 1 1 minus p over q you can just rewrite it as q over q minus p so you see it is again in the form of p over q okay you can write it as p dash over q dash so which belongs to your rational number so the first option is correct that means you don't have to answer this one so it's false for you because they are asking the false one so this option is false for you okay now going to the second option what second option says that if your summation belongs to q then you have to check whether your x belongs to q or not so you see it's the same expansion that we have used in part a so you know sum of this expansion this the sum of this expansion is 1 minus x to the power minus 1 they are saying that this sum belongs to your rational number okay so that means that this sum is just of the form p over q where p belongs to the set of integers and q is just a natural number so you have to check whether your x is a rational or not so just rewrite it as 1 over 1 minus x is equal to p over q you can rewrite it as can rewrite it as q is equal to okay uh, i will just reciprocate first q over p is equal to 1 minus x and then you have to write x is equal to 1 minus q over p just take it lcm so you will get this one okay so your x is uh, x look like this so you see it's again in the form of p dash over q dash where p dash is again an integer and you can write p as some some uh, some natural number okay so it again belongs to your set of rationals okay i'm just assuming the possibility that your uh, your x is non zero because if it is uh, if it is zero then obviously these are true okay uh, this p over q is a non zero number i am assuming this one 
okay that your p over q is a non zero number that's why i can reciprocal it everything makes sense okay your p over q should make sense so i am assuming that your p over q is uh, non zero okay if it is zero then you, uh, your summation will not look like this okay so you are assuming that it's non zero now in the third option what you are getting that if x doesn't belongs to q then you have to check this expansion will it belong to q or not so you see in the expansion that it is m x to the power m minus 1 which you can write like this okay you can write it as 2 um, if you are starting with 1 okay so if you are starting with 1 you can write it as 1 plus uh, 2x okay plus 3x square so it goes like this uh, you just put uh, you, you just increase m you, you will get this type of sequence so plus 3x square plus 4x cube okay so you should remember the sum of this series also so there are some few uh, summation series that you must remember okay so it's a power series and you must remember the sum I am just writing down the sum here. The sum of this type of series is basically 1 minus x to the power minus 2. Now your question says that if your x doesn't belong to rational, then your series will also not belong to rational. Okay. So I am just giving a counter example for it. Take your x as 1 plus root 2. So you see that this number is not a rational number. Okay. But it will imply that 1 minus okay I'm just putting okay so your sum m x to the power m minus 1 is equal to uh, 1 minus x to the power minus 2 so you, if you're choosing your x as this one what you're getting is 1 minus 1 minus root to the power minus 2 so that's 1 over root to the square so that is 1 over 2 so this quantity belongs to rational so this option is false because you have chosen an irrational number but your summation still belongs to rational that means your third option is false so your third option is the correct one that you have to answer so your third option is correct okay uh, i've just uh, forgotten to uh, write it as wrong because this option is correct one so this option is correct but you have to answer false so this option is wrong for you now third option is correct for you now you, we don't need to check the fourth one okay so it will be a very good exercise that if you check fourth one i will just provide you a hint okay so just remember this series okay so this series looks like this minus uh, one minus okay not one so this series looks like this x minus x square over 2 minus x cube over 3 okay go on so this series looks like this okay so log 1 minus x looks like this which can be written as minus times of x to the power m over m so m must be greater than 1 so this is your series which i have already found here and you have seen that your value of x is less than 1 your x is modulus less than 1 that you need to check whether it will converge or not so you see that if your x is less than 1 this this formula makes sense for you if your x is less than 1 that means if you choose x less than 1 that it will always converge okay if you take any x then it will converge to log 1 minus x you already know that so your fourth option is correct but you have to answer false that that's why your fourth option is also false so all these options are false and the third option is correct one for you so thank you guys